In Beijing, more perspective on President Xi's visit to the UK. We're joined now by international relations expert Victor Gao. Victor, uh, they're calling it a golden era. Uh, so talk to us about the importance of this state visit to Britain. Golden era indeed. Uh, first of all, uh, President Xi Jinping's state visit to the United Kingdom is the first in 10 years. Secondly, at the present time, China-UK relations are at the best for many years or even decades. And the two countries truly respect each other, treat each other as equals, and they respect each other's fundamental national interest. And in this way, both countries are also promoting economic and trade and financial cooperation to the fullest. UK is not the biggest economy in the world, but China, UK can deal with each other as partners. And this really sets the fundamental tone of the China UK relations and this also makes the UK China relations as an example for big power bilateral relations and this is also for mutual benefit you know on the Chinese side there is tremendous need and demand for UK services and goods on the UK side I think they are very good at making good use of the capital financial resources as well as technology and, and equipment uh, Chinese tourism, students, etc. All these resources can be fully utilized by the British people for their own benefit. So it is truly a win-win situation and there is huge expectation both in Beijing and in UK for this very successful state visit by President Xi Jinping this time. Victor, uh, talk to me about the stark contrast though between this state visit and the state visit here in Washington not too long ago. Didn't seem as much uh, fanfare in uh, Washington DC. We're seeing in London a great deal of fanfare. I mean the, the Prime Minister himself saying it's a golden era. He's going to speak to both houses of Parliament. He did not speak to both houses of, uh, of the Congress here in the United States. So talk to me about the differences. There is indeed fundamental differences in the China-UK relations versus China-US relations. While at the present time between China and Britain, there is truly a respect for each other, treating each other as an equal, and also without reservation promoting the cooperation to the fullest. Between China and the United States, at least at the present time, there is still a level of suspicion or mistrust at a very high level. And I think in the United States, there is still a fundamental concern as to how to deal with China, whether China should be dealt with as a partner, as a cooperation uh, partner, or as an adversary. So I think this level of mistrust, uh, to a certain extent at least, between China and the United States, make the fundamental political relations between Washington and Beijing a little bit of uncertain and also suspicious. This is not present between China and the United Kingdom and the leaders of Great Britain and China can truly look at each other, trust each other as full partners. And I hope this level of trust between China and Britain, which characterizes the fundamental relations between these two countries, can set a very good example for the future development of China U.S. relations. Ultimately, I think, between China and the United States, they need to transcend whatever differences there might be and treat each other as partners and deal with each other for their mutual benefit. Mistrust between China and the United States is harmful and damaging to the fundamental relations between these two great countries, and it need to be overcome. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Victor Gao uh, joining us from Beijing. Thank